Coming to you from an undisclosed location, somewhere deep in the heart of the Santa Monica Mountains, I am your intrepid host, L.A. Marzulli. Welcome to another On the Trail of a Nephilim episode. So here we have it. Um, this was sent to me by multiple people, and I want to thank the folks that clogged my inbox with stories like this. It's important. I can't possibly see everything. So when I get four or five emails from people, I know that this, this story is definitely trending. And, of course, it says, uh, Mountain Giant, Colorado hikers snap picture of alleged 20-foot creature scaling the side of a cliff. So I'll weigh in on the story. So much more. But first, a word from our trusted sponsor. In a world of economic uncertainty, safeguarding your retirement savings is more important than ever. Gold is a trusted store of value, providing stability for centuries. Through countless market cycles, with a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investments, you can protect your financial future with the enduring power of precious metals. Don't let election volatility erode your hard-earned nest egg. Vote for the timeless safety of gold and silver in 2024. And get up to 10 one-ounce silver Trump coins or a 10-ounce silver American flag bar with a qualifying account. Noble Gold Investments, your partner in financial peace of mind in 2024. Folks, go to noblegoldinvestments.com, noblegoldinvestments.com. We invested in it, and I got to tell you, I'm really glad we did. You and I might as well agree right now that there is no such thing as Bigfoot. That's that's the lead line of the story. It, the author is Paul Seren, and I'm going to stop right there because I would vehemently disagree on that. How do I know? Scott Carpenter's work. We featured him here uh, several times. He was on my show before his untimely death um, about, well, almost a year ago, I think now, or very close to that. And we miss him. But Scott was a Bigfoot researcher. And there's a if you if you Google on this on this channel, the YouTube channel, Scott Carpenter, it should come up. And Scott was amazing because he would walk through uh, on these trails with a backpack with the camera pointing behind him. And he captured a lot of incredible footage. One which which I've used in presentations. Jot, Scott allowed me to do this. It shows what appears to be a Bigfoot materializing. There's a, a perfect circle, and it wasn't there. The circle wasn't there before. All of a sudden, the circle appears, and then inside that circle is a, is a squatch, is the Bigfoot crouching down, which is typical of what they do, and it's got a very elongated skull. Now, I could go on on this. The bottom line is um, Sasquatch are real. And I also have a theory on this, which I'll share with you quickly that when you go back to the Gimli Patterson film decades and decades and decades ago to the present day, there's been an, a, a Sasquatch explosion in population, a Sasquatch population explosion. Now, I've posited this. Scott Carpenter and I talked about it. Are these the Therion, the beasts of the earth? Conjecture. I admit, it's conjecture. And scoffers will always scoff, and, well, we don't know what they are. But this is what's manifesting, so I keep an eye on it. So before I read more on this article, let me just say this. This is an article that, in my opinion, goes on the back burner. There's not enough evidence. Something is going on. It appears like there's something that's scaling the cliff, some sort of a humanoid, but we don't know. So let's continue. However, the more we learn about our planet Earth, the more we realize just how little we actually know about it and how many species are still out there undiscovered. So maybe, just maybe, 
they're some sort of gigantic humanoid creature still not part of our present official scientific roster of species. Case in point, two American hiders, hikers were left astonished after encountering what can be described as a frightening 20-foot tall figure that is seen clinging to the side of a Colorado mountain. Jen C. Clausen and Camille Avarella, I, I hope that's how you say her name, were descending Long's Peak in the Rockies when they accidentally caught the lanky gray creature on camera as it appeared to scale the crag. The Denver-based duo didn't see the beast at the time of their trek on August 24th, but noticed it lurking in the backdrop of a photograph as they reminisced about the adventure weeks later. I was shocked to the bone when we were looking at the picture, behavior analyst Clausen told Daily Mail. Recalling the hike, she added, we didn't see anything. We didn't take the picture because we saw that thing. We just took it because the mountain range was beautiful to look at. This is the original photo taken by the two hikers. And you can see here the, the red circle where this creature is. So they, they began to push in on it. The pair had been walking for seven hours when they snapped the figure just after scaling the peak around 9 a.m. Filled with adrenaline, they paid very little attention. It was only later, while sharing the pictures with family on a big plasma screen TV, that they first noticed the creature, zooming in after noticing an odd white coloration on the side of the crag. Camille's dad said, what the heck? That thing is at least 20 foot or so. And Camille was like, uh, should have we called the rangers? Uh, it could be a rock, Avarella added, but it has all the features of something that is human. It was so far away, it couldn't really do anything to us. I like to think it was an alien. The anatomy is so human-like, it's freaky as all get out, added Avarella. The hikers say they are open to any interpretations, and they posted the pictures on a Facebook group of Colorado hikers where dozens of commenters were disturbed by the phenomenon. So... Look, the bottom line for me is this. It's, it's another blurry creature. And with, with all due respect, I've been on that show, and those guys are great. But it's, it's a blurry creature, and, and we don't know what it is we're looking at. It's definitely, in my opinion, um, a humanoid-like entity. But what is it we just don't know? And then as far as, like, saying 20 feet, how do we... How do we make that happen? How do we arrive at that figure? So when I get stories like this, I keep them on the back burner because more information has to come out. Just like the Kandahar Giant, when we had d different people that have come up to me, and, and the late Richard Shaw and I broke the story on the Kandahar Giant. We broke the story in our watchers. But since then, other people have come on the record uh, privately, really not come on the record, but they've come up to me privately and told me stories about their encounter. And some of these people obviously are, are ex-military. So it's, it's very interesting. I do believe that the Kandahar giant was real. I stick by the story, stick by the shooter. Um, with respect to Steve Quayle's giant, it was a completely different giant in another part of the world. So we have two, at least that we know about. So, you know, something is going on, and we need to keep watching and, and, and be aware. Could this entity, we'll just call it that, that's in the photograph by the, by the two people in Colorado, could this be the Therion, like I said earlier, the beasts of the earth? We just don't know. We just don't know. But that's why we watch, and hopefully, you know, we don't have a knee-jerk interpretation I do find it interesting. I do find the story interesting. Maybe more things will come, come out of the story in the, in the future. At this time, it's on the back burner, along with scores of other articles and stories. There's just no way to vet it. So, folks, um, I will be uh, in Nashville in October. And go to the website, lamarzilli.net. You can see the banner there. And then in November, I'll be back in Colorado. We don't, I don't think we have a banner for that yet, but we will soon. And then, of course, Prophecy Watchers in early part of December. That's it for the year. Um, we're starting to get filled up for next year. So if you'd like to have me come speak, I would love to do that. I've got hours and hours and hours of presentations on everything from Mama Trail of a Nephilim to our Watchers series to, to Fatima to the Shroudatorium, which we're actually creating a new film on. So, by the way, the new book will be out 
uh, shortly, probably in October sometime. We do have a sale on that, so you can go to lamarzulli.com, uh, check the pre-order. You can save 5 bucks. Plus, every single book is going to be autographed. Folks, thanks so much for coming here. really appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button below as well as the bell so you can get notifications. And um, I will see you again with another report very soon. Thanks for watching. Hey folks, Elian Marzulli here. I've got book number 14 coming out. It's being published by Charisma Media. It's called Rungs of Disclosure. Let me whet your appetite. What is it, 77 years ago, something happened in Roswell, New Mexico. Was it really a weather balloon or was it something else? Folks, one of the very first chapters in that book delves into the whole Roswell event. What I think happened there was a cover-up, and it began the deliberate obfuscation that continued until 2017. And Tucker Carlson asked Commander David Fravor, in your opinion, what was this tic-tac-shaped UFO that you saw? Commander David Fravor looks right at the camera and says, whatever this was, was not from this earth. That's the nexus. That's the beginning of the Rungs of Disclosure book. I think it's the most important book I've ever penned. Go to lamarzulli.com, lamarzulli.com. You can pre-order the book, save five bucks, and that book will be autographed by yours truly. Don't forget, folks, UFOs are real, burgeoning, and not going away. In my opinion, this is the coming great deception that Jesus warns us about.